Hey everybody, Cypher Boy here with another episode of Grim Quest, which this one I did turn the music off so I can put a different track from the YouTube sound studio or audio studio, whatever that's called these days, and put that in instead. So let's continue on with the quest. So I'm in the city of Ashbourne, day three. Um, looks like my health is completely up um, looks like I've got six gold unfortunately so I don't think I can buy anything so let's go to the world map back to the sunken grotto and enter dungeon it is said that the that in the centuries past when the old empire was at the height of its power sunken grotto was a part of the Ashbourne proper it served as a complex of har harbors and warehouses for goods traded across the northern basin. Today, however, it is just a vast stretch of underground caves, dark, damp, unpleasant, and crawling with the undead and bandits who use it as a staging ground for harassing the city. If the city council's advisors are to be trusted, you will find two of your targets here. The so-called Prince of Thieves, surrounded with his army of miscreants and marauders, should be your first concern. After he is dealt with, there is the Baron of Bones. This undead menace is rumored to reside somewhere in the lower levels of the grotto, in a chamber made out of bones of his enemies. So, that's... Madness is more evident with each passing moment. Guilt manifestation. So, let's... Uh, do... Let's go ahead and attack. Use this Reaper Scythe. There we go. Victory Omnium Crystal is the prize for that. See if I can find the key to exit the dungeon. Hedge wizard and a bandit. I think I should go after the wizard first. So let's go. Oops, I did the wrong one. Oh, I'm not about to attack. Time for the Reaper Scythe. I got a little bit of the uh, Aether Dust. Wonder what that is. Ah. Uh, Scatter Lore, Volume 2. I was born the Golden Age. The Golden Age of the Old Empire is an era roughly corresponding to the Age of Enlightenment, 1500 BC to 1 BC. Having consolidated its hold on the entire continent, the Empire turned its attention inwards. Exorbitant funds were set apart for projects of magical and scientific nature. Construction of the Sun Court being one of the most ambitious. Investment into knowledge and learning paid of many times over as miraculous discoveries started multiplying, making everyday life in the empire seem magical compared to the past. Peace and prosperity reigned for the most part with occasional insurrection in the conquered provinces, but those were dealt with quickly and efficiently as befits the most powerful military the world has ever known. Ashbourne thrived in this age, serving as the Empire's main port open to both Northern Basin and the Great Red Sea. The city flourished, its development fueled by magic and technology both domestic and brought from overseas on many trade ships. Good to know. Uh, let's see. The Obelisk Standing before you is an obelisk made out of a perfectly shaped crystalline material, probably a heavily refined omnium. 
Where sunlight touches its surface, it reflects it into a myriad of colors that flow along the length of its slender body in waves. It is common knowledge in scholastic circles that the old imperials used a network of these structures to channel the aether. It was harvested through some arcane means and distributed along the network to be used for powering various magical machinery that was common in the old imperial era, but it is now long lost to history. Let's touch it. As you touch the smooth surface of the obelisk, you feel some of its power being transferred into your own body, accompanied by a strong taste of aether residue in your mouth. You seem to have absorbed, absorbed a portion of dormant magic that has still left in the obelisk. Okay. Small power up at least. Uh, another fight. Let's do Reaper Scythe right from the get-go. Moody Bread. That doesn't sound very good, does it? He was 10 HP. Okay. Let's go ahead and use it. Okay, and then what's cannot find what that is. Sharp edges. By some strange twist of fate, you chance upon a whetstone, the likes of which blacksmiths use to sharpen weapons. It looks dusty with disuse, but otherwise functional. Sharpen the weapon. You remove layers of dust and touch your weapon to the old whetstone and start working slowly and methodic methodically. Soon your arms are as good as new, and you continue on your journey, satisfied with this lucky turn of events. That's good to see. Uh, can I leave? Level completes. Enemy army approaches city. Siege green. After each dungeon run, there is a good chance that you will find Ashborn under siege. At the beginning of every round, you can select one mercenary company to engage the enemy in combat. Their performance will depend on manpower, morale, and strength, weakness to a certain enemy type. Okay, let's see. Haven't been to one of these before. Pay carefully and don't forget to boost mercenaries at the training grounds. If all companies are reduced to zero, manpower the city will be looted if permadeath is on the game will be over. Don't know if I even have permadeath on. Okay, let's go with the shield. There we go. Let's see what these are going to be. Or cord. Let's do. I assume the eye right here is the mages, and they can get the horde from a distance I think yep victory continue city council organizes a lavish festival to honor the fallen who lost their lives in Osborne's defenses drinks at the dancing dragon or on the house all night long so let's go here uh, hmm stash uh, no. Buy 25 for 15 gold. Let's go ahead and do that. Like so, and exit. Oh, was I playing it wrong or something? Let's exit. No? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see what else I can do. Character. Um. Can I use this no not yet hmm what's this thing vampire bats okay that's where probably the healing comes from take a look at these shamanic uh 
six turns for that one. I don't know if that means I cannot act but between those or if that's how long you can use it before how long it you cannot use it for. Broken shields. Uh let's do manpower. And oh it looks like the orcs were the weakness of those. But they managed to win anyway, so why isn't it letting me leave that though? There we go. Um let's go back to the map. Try this one again. Records fragment found. In the ruins of an old imperial outpost, you find a sealed document wearing the insignia of the Sun Court. It reads as follows. Records of Sage Asmodeus of the Sun Court, Imperial Capital, 23 BC, Entry 1. Sorting through some obscure writings of the Court of the All-Seeing, I have stumbled upon an interesting passage. It describes a place where everything a person can imagine becomes reality, literally, by the pr process of thinking alone. It seems like a foolish notion at first. But having nothing better to do at the time, I decided to entertain the idea and have made some interesting discoveries along the way. I have since encountered at least a dozen mentions of similar phenomenon in various ancient te texts from the Central Library. I will have to look into it in more detail when I have time. Five experience points, I think it said. Let's sharpen the weapon. There we go. A nameless hero looking for it a secluded spot to rest for the day you chance upon a lone gravestone worn down with the rains and the passage of time despite its remote location it looks like someone is taking care of it on a regular basis the fresh flowers adorning its base are anything to go by you approach with care and crouch down to read the inscription on the worn stone here lies the nameless hero one of many who have some succumbed to the dark that lurks behind the fragile walls of our own consciousness. The inscription, though simple, makes you reflect on your own fate and the direction of your quest. Plus five sanity. Um, there we go. Okay, so, let's see. Let's get the rat first. There we go. Continue. Okay, let's see. Um so far, not many, ver not very many enemies out and about. Nothing, so. Go this way. Yes, leave. Okay, so. Prepare for another siege. Beastmen Raiders. Uh, let's try the Iron Fist. Victory. Okay, so... I think... I'm at the point where I can end the video and go on to the next game so I can upload those later this week.